last but not least, here is my gorgeous box of Twisby Ecos and Eco Tees. These are all always inked up and I, I know that Ramona is going to say, what are you going to do when you get more? I certainly will have just enough space for the new Twisby Eco Tea Saffron that's coming out soon. So I have to confess that I haven't used any of these in quite some time. So it will be, I'm curious, just as you may be, how they will perform. I haven't touched any of these before I started filming, so we will see what's gonna happen. And this is the last time I filmed a currently inked, and the Twisby Go is not in that box anymore. So, oh la la, look at that Birmingham Pen Company salmon. Or salmon or d'oeuvre, it bled through. Okay. These have, with only one exception, all broad nibs, but it's okay that the one this one pen stands out because it was a gift. Um, so I am not at all complaining. And um, okay, currently inked Twisbees and Twisby Egos, and they're all always inked with shimmer inks. Twisby Eco and Eco T. What do we have here? I could never ever remember all of my inks. It would not ever happen. <sighs> like Manda, Manda B, she remembers all the inks. I don't. She has so many pens inked and remembers the inks. I can't believe it. Okay, this is the clear and it has I should have remembered this one there's a press misguided mistletoe oops misguided mistletoe is it mistletoe or mistletoes mistletoe Like I said, all of them broad inks. And I recently heard someone say that a fine nib will, will easier clog with shimmer inks. And I debate that heavily because the feed, it depends on the feed and not on the nib. I want to say that the nib, the size of the nib, just determines how fat the line is that goes on the paper. And if a pen tolerates shimmer inks or not, that is to be determined by the pen and by its feed and the whole internal mechanism that is so beautifully visible with all of these Twisby pens. I recently did replace the grip section that had a crack. I feel like it may have been on this one even, and that was absolutely no problem to fix. And Twisby, came, Twisby contacted me immediately, respond, responded immediately, and um, sent me for very cheap money the new 
grip section. Clear red, so I'm super happy about that. I think this is... Horror und Kina Fernand book? No, of course not. That was just in the other pen and it's not a shimmer. This is Colorverse Felicette. See, that's how it would go with me. I, I would make a wild guess that's completely wrong. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I haven't used any of these in a while. Even though I adore all of these inks so much. Okay, clear. What is this called? Clear orange. Ah, this is Pelikan Edelstein. Golden barrel. Sorry about this. I don't care at all. So I hope you don't either. We know what it is. We're just having fun with our pens, right? Now here comes the clear. Hello. And this is Diamine. I know that much. Citrus Ice. By the way, in case you wonder, I put on the base of all of these boxes, I put some cushiony material. In this case, it was a teddy plushy fabric, but I've also used some furish stuff and whatever. Let me put on my screen again. The screen of the, the, the computer screen is over there, and so I've turned it back on so we get a little bit of extra light <laughs> oh no weird yes okay this is the clear green one this is i know it's a diamond ink Experiment? No, of course not. Did anybody think that I was right? No, it's Golden Oasis. Oh my gosh. Move things a little bit. Okay. Next is your purple what in the world is this ink I'm sure it's a diamond ink as well yes at least that I got right well most of my Shimmer inks are from Diamine, so <laughs> no surprise here. Uh, lilac satin or satin lilac. I'm not, not sure, but not that important. Absolute perfect match. 
And here comes another purple pen. It is called Lilac. Oh, yeah. This is an ink vent ink. You see how none of these have any kind of trouble starting up, even though I haven't used them in so long. Ink vent 21 party time. Here comes the cerulean blue. That was definitely one. Oh yeah, the lilac also was one that I got from Kirk of Penrod, and as well as this. Apologies, I had to sneeze. Oh, aren't they glorious? <laughs> So this is the cerulean blue, and I inked it. I think this is a diamond. Oh yeah, blue lightning. And it is as I think it is Robert Oster Violet Clouds. <laughs> Next comes my special baby. Eco tea. That was a gift, and this is the only one that has the medium nib. And initially, I was a little bit OCD for a while, and I was thinking, can I replace it with the broad? But now I actually I like it that it's the only one with a medium nib because it's also so special because it was a gift. So this is, I don't know. It is not any more Colorverse Las Vegas. I have added something and I don't remember. Because it was too light. The color was too light. So I did some funky mix. That made me very happy. Oh, wait a second. I think I added Red Robin. I must have written it down somewhere. It was initially Colorverse Las Vegas. And I wanna try it next with Pink Ice by Diamine. But um, the I didn't wanna just drain this the Las Vegas, and so I added rot, Red Robin. I think. <laughs> Which is a non-shimmer ink. So, and it turned out beautifully. I'm sure you will agree. Okay. 
what is next? I think they're, the order is messed up. This clear blue did not, wasn't supposed to be where, where we found it. This could be Enchanted Ocean. We'll see. I'm pretty sure it's done with Enchanted Ocean. Hello. Yes, it is. I gifted this to my daughter, but she just let me repossess it. <laughs> and it goes so well with this pen. This is an amazing color that has not just the blue shimmer, but also some reddish sheen. Okay, and this guy is almost empty. It will most likely be re-inked in the same color. That's the pen that my son also owns. And I, in his honor, I inked it with Parrotfish. Mm. Van Diemen's. <laughs> So I have to say, this is the only one of these inks that sometimes gives this pen hard starts. None of the others do. Pretty cool. Next is the white one. This is a diamond, I believe it's moon dust, and that was a sweet gift from one of our pen friends. Thank you. Sarah of Fountain Pen Insanity taught me all the names of these. So let's see what this is. Because I never could get the colors right. So this is the mint blue. It's a tea. Eco tea. And the ink is, oh, this one is Spearmint Diva. Okay. Next is another Eco Tea. They have the more triangular shape here in a different grip section. No problem to me at all. Some people don't like it so much. So what is this one called? Yellow green. Is that right? Diamond Razzmatazz, which I love. You probably hear that this sounds a little bit funny. I think I did some nib, nib, 
work on this one and it's not super polished so it has a little bit more feedback and sings as I'm writing. Next one is the... Wait a minute. Oh yes. This is the glow green and the next one is the jade. Yes. This was another one where I agonized over the ink, which was so funny. Sometimes we do. Do you ever do that? Glow green. There comes my husband. Neon lime, I think it's called. Yes. Will I agonize over which ink to put into the new one once I have it? Yes, I will. <laughs> Saffron cover. Oh my gosh, it's going to be hard. And this is the jade. So what do you think? None of these have any problems whatsoever. To start writing I find that remarkable because I know I know how long I haven't touched these <clears throat> excuse me um, I'm sure since then I've meant to write some letters with my shimmer inks but I know I haven't yeah oh this is diamond I think I got this from you Wait a minute. Who gave me this? Was this from you, Des? I think. I think. I wrote it down. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ink band 21. Sub zero. Or did you send me this, Alexandra? Definitely a gift. Oh my gosh, I love these guys so much. They're all so pretty. And isn't that amazing how they started up immediately? I just love that. Okay, let's see if I took good notes and wrote down. Well, I had all all the colors from Ramona, of course. The ink vent. Oh yeah, I thought so. Alexandra, ah, oh, I love it. Love it when the bookkeeping works out. So here it is, and uh, she sent me a larger amount also of this, like one of the large bottles. The diamond sub, sub zero. I believe that she had gotten herself the the big bottle when when they came out, and so she gave me hers from the ink vent. Yeah, and the Morgenröte. Here's that ink. Yes. Okay. Enough babbling. On. I could talk about inks all day long. And I know there's a lot of you out there who enjoy it too. I hope you're all doing well. And I'm sending you lots of love for this month of February. I hope you have some nice pens inked up. And tell me about your experiences with the Twisby Ecos if you are up for it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.